plot the following vector fields. This lesson will show how to use Calcplot3D to plot 3D vector fields. When using Calcplot3D, this is always the initial or default graph. We need to turn this off or delete it. We can turn it off by clicking the check mark on the left. We can delete it by clicking the X on the right. I will click the X. Next, from the Add to Graph drop-down menu, select Vector Field. Next, turn the vector field on by clicking the box on the left. M, N, and P are the X, Y, and Z components of the vector field. Looking below, by default the vectors are being scaled by dividing by 4. We can change this to make the vectors appear longer or shorter. There are three modes, rectangular, spherical, and cylindrical. We can also control the number of vectors along the three axes. Because we have a 3D vector field, let's set the number of vectors along each of the axes to 9. And we have some additional options below. For the first vector field, the x component is x, the y component is negative y, and the z component is negative x. This indicates we enter m equals x tab, n equals negative y tab, and p equals negative x enter. Notice the vector field automatically appears at the right. If we think there are too many vectors in the vector field, we can change the number of vectors along the axes. Let's change the nines to sevens. And maybe this looks a little bit better. We can also zoom in and zoom out by using the plus or minus at the top, but notice when we do this, nothing changes because of the scaling and the number of vectors along the axes. If we change the vectors being divided by four to let's say six, this will make the vector shorter. If we want to change the vector field so all the vectors have the same color, we can click below where it says use constant primary color. By default, all the vectors are now blue, which we can change by clicking on the blue bar at the top and selecting a different color. Let's go back to the default setting and not use constant primary colors. And now let's take a look at our second vector field. The x component is 2x, the y component is sine y, and the z component is 2z. This indicates we enter m equals 2x tab, n equals sine y tab, and p equals 2z enter. And again, the vector field appears at the right. And of course we can make adjustments to the scaling as well as the number of vectors along the axes if we want a different view. I hope you found this helpful.